the Paddy Power Hotel Chase is next then. And the top one in this two and a half mile maiden is Aconitum Half for James Shea. Bad of Gold for Graham Clutterbuck. Cypress Hill, David Robertson, into wind for David Hooley, Sonic Khan, Jim Murray, take the knee, Ryan Tamasevi, the clown, Joshua Sutherland, the great grey, Ryan Costello, Viva Paradiso, Daniel French, Confessions of an Assassin for Paul Rhodes, Dia Breda for Craig Allen, Honey Star for Craig Beckwith, Ottilia Fleet for Alex Cherry, and Rhythm Divine, Leon Van Rensburg. So 14 then. Facing the starter. So we get an aerial sweep of the track before we get underway. There they are. And side on view, and away they go then. A very short run to the first, which they have all got to the other side of with Band of Gold and Cypress Hill. The two a little bit slow to go, but it's Sonic Khan who's the early leader for Jim Murray. Settling down in front then with the red sleeves. Right over on the far side, Confessions of an Assassin for Paul Rhodes looking for a quick fire door to get in his first jumps winner of the season in the previous race as they get over that ditch, which they are all safely over. The grey, the great grey, is also close up in third. And down on the near side on the rail is Honey Star. With Viva Paradiso as they take that next one and just a little bit of a flash there which made it look like it was a faller but it wasn't. And Sonic Khan is the leader by a length to Confessions of an Assassin second, The Great Grey is third, Honey Star is four, and there's a gap of a length or two to Band of Gold who's made up for that slow start. Main body of the field are pretty tightly packed, Rhythm Divine just about the back marker on the far side going the longest way around but into win and take the knee are also towards the back so taking into account that the clown is also towards the back as well and you'd think most of the fancied runners are at the back of the field at this stage but they're still Long way to go, and coming down towards the fence that'll be the last on the next circuit now. Actually, could be the one that'll be the second last on the next circuit, thinking about it. And they're all safely over it. This is the one that'll be the last on the next circuit. And the great grey wasn't all that great at it, but got over it okay in the end. As they come up past the winning post and the somewhat meagre crowd today, oh, disappointing turnout. As they come past the winning post with a circuit to go. And. They are quite well spread out and Rhythm Divine is some way detached at the back so it's been a funny old week for the Van Rensburg stable this week. I've seen they have quite a few fallers and horses not run particularly well but it's also a fair share of winners as well. So coming down to the water then and Sonic Khan I think is setting a pretty stiff pace here because they're well spread out and the big stables are all out the back. And it's Jim Murray. I have to say that Jim Murray's in a big stable. Or oh, Paul Rhodes in second for that matter. And David Robertson third. But it's Sonic Khan in front. Cypress Hill's just moved up into second. Then Confessions of an Assassin. And the Great Grey Band of Gold is after that as they take that ditch. Which they are all safely over the ones at the back. Starting to get a little bit closer. Sonic Khan's lead is down to three. From Cypress Hill. Confessions of an Assassin. The Great Grey. Honey Star and Band of Gold into win has crept a lot closer. So too is the Clown and Viva Paradiso and Aconitum Half with Dia Breda after that one. And then Take the Knee, Rhythm Divine and finally Artillia Fleet. And they're all still standing and they're well inside the final mile now as they come to the 10th and the leader went right through the top of that one nearly jettisoned the pilot over his ears and Confessions of an Assassin has now been allowed to go on as they come down to the 11th and they both jumped that one well together. The one that made a mistake there was take the knee towards the back. I'm pretty sure that one fell last week as well. So it's Confessions of an Assassin in the lead then on the outside of Sonic Car. The Great Grey is on his own in third as they come to this ditch. Which they've all got to the other side of quite nicely. Aconitum Half is the one that's struggling down at the back. But Sonic khan has gone on again by a length to Confessions of an Assassin second as they come to the 13th and this time again Jim Murray's horse gave it a wallop and that's not going to do him any favours and Confessions of an Assassin's gone back into the lead but Sonic Khan is fighting back on the inside Sonic Khan going better on the flat but not jumping as well as the others Honey Star is third, Viva Paradiso looks a bit dangerous in fourth then comes the clown, the great grey is still there Cypress Hill has got itself boxed in on the inside Dia Breda is trying to come with a run going up on the inside a band of gold and the back 
three or four have still got a lot of work to do as they get over the 14th. There's only two more to jump now, and it's still Sonic Khan in the lead. Sonic Khan is in the lead from Viva Paradiso. This is the second last, and this time he jumps in really well, the leader, but Viva Paradiso jumps in even better. They're racing down towards the final fence then now, and it's Sonic Khan over in the lead, and Sonic Khan's jumped in one and got away from it one, and nothing's coming anywhere near him, and Sonic Khan has stolen this one from the front despite a couple of dodgy jumps. Pretty impressive performance. Sonic Khan takes it. Viva Paradiso second. Honey Star third. Then Cypress Hill. One or two of the big guns just never got into that race at all. And rather oh, strange to see some of those horses from the big fancy yards that have been doing so well all week just run out the back. Look, you see those four together there. Joshua Southern, Ryan Tamasevi. Um, Leon Van Rensburg and David Hooley have all been doing well. Ooh, right out the back, never got a blow in at all there. So it's Sonic Khan for Jim Murray, the winner. Viva Paradiso for Daniel French was second. Honey Star for Craig Beckwith was third. Band of Gold for Graham Clutterbuck was fourth. And Confessions of an Assassin for Paul Rhodes was fifth.